Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're welcome. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys 10 minutes hair and makeup for a job interview just for black girls because I'm gonna share with you guys like realistically on how you can do your hair, your makeup, just for an interview. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned and let's get into this quick hair makeup tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna start off with hair. Now, when it comes for job interviews, I feel like if you wanna go with your natural hair, which I do like majority of the time because it's just easy to style so I always do something simple that makes me look innocent during the job interview and the best hairstyle for that is like a middle part slick back you can do a bun if I could do a ponytail today I would do a ponytail but my hair is like in its natural state so I can't really do a ponytail but if my hair was like straightened a ponytail would look so good so I'm just gonna part this so now I have a full dedicated tutorial on how to do this hairstyle so I'm going to link it if any of you want an in-depth tutorial now as I said this hairstyle makes you look very innocent in the job interview and also it's like really sleek because we're going to gel our, the front of our hair and it just gives a very sleek sophisticated professional look right off the hair tie when you go in for the interview people are going to be like wow she looks so so prepared meanwhile you just did something quick now i don't i don't really put my bun together properly because i have to go in with the gel first oh and the gel i'm going in with is morphos austin professional hair gel wax this is a number three though i'm supposed to be using number nine for my hair type but this is the one i have so i just use yeah and regardless what people want to say your appearance matters like so much for interviews but when people call you got in for an interview they like your resume and they just want to see how you are in person the way you interact the communication skills and everything along those lines okay so basically this is how it looks after i am semi gelling my hair this is like the first round and this is my struggle rush that i use Guys, this is 10 minutes. 10 minutes, but we still want to look good. So this is why I'm using an easy hairstyle that can make us still look very presentable. Okay, I finished gelling and I redid my ponytail. Now, a tip that I can provide for you guys is that if you want to cut down the time for your hair for the interview, do it the night before. So if I know I have an interview in the morning, the next morning, I do this hairstyle the night before and then like wrap it, wrap it and then I'm good to go for the next morning. All I would have to worry about is makeup. So it cuts down this even more, okay? So I'm just twisting the ends of my hair. You can also do a soft bun for this and then I'm wrapping it, it around. I'm wrapping it around the bun. Okay, so I'm just quickly going in with baby hairs. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do this. It's just going to, if you're someone who has to go in with baby hairs, this is just an option. I really do very subtle baby hairs because it's just the interview, nothing to like Dr. Seuss like. Like honestly, this hairstyle is super fast, super easy. Again, if you do it the night before, you're Gucci, you're Gucci. Now we're gonna go on to the makeup. Now this makeup is for people who are work who's working any job that's not a makeup related job. So if you're working at a warehouse, a grocery store, a retail job, this makeup tutorial is perfect for you. I always use this. I use this for every single, if you're working an office job, because I even did this makeup tutorial when I applied for my policing practicum. Okay, so this works, this is perfect, it's so easy. Super simple, okay? It's literally like basic makeup. And when I feel like when it comes to doing your makeup and stuff, just do something that just enhances what you have, if you want to, if you want to, okay? So we're gonna go into that. And a tip is like, if when you're doing your makeup, you can tie down your hair as well. I look like already put together. Or maybe my hair can be a little bit more sleek, but <laughs> the girl don't have. The girl don't have. Okay, so I put on my primer and I let my primer sit in. So now I'm going in with my eyebrows. When it comes to interview, if you're getting called in for the interview, that means they already like you. What they're trying to look for in person when they see you is your hygiene, your communication skills, and your appearance, okay? So make sure you guys have that on point. And if any of you need hygiene routine videos they're on my channel so you guys can watch them i have like oral hygiene so like your the way your breath smells and then body hygiene okay i have makeup tutorials but i'm showing you guys one here i have hair tutorials how to make your hair smell good okay so as you can see i need to do my eyebrows but this is what i'm doing with my eyebrows something simple just regular you know i'm going with the correct color for your eyebrows okay we're just we're just we're just doing the typical steps right now for makeup Again, you just want to do like, and we're going to skip some st steps as well because, again, it's 10 minute makeup. Oh, these cows? Honestly, for interviews, all they want to know is that you look decent, you're a decent person. <laughs> Let's be real. You're clean, you have great communication skills, interpersonal skills. And can they connect and vibe with you? Okay, so that's 
that's really it for eyes. I put, mm, I put glue on my eyelashes so they're just dry. So we're going to proceed on to a foundation. So I'm just going in with my Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless like I always use. But the thing is, we're just, again, you guys can even go like a BB cream if you're not someone who wears, if you're not someone who wears makeup in that way. In the past, I would have said skip concealing underneath your eyebrows and just going with your foundation, but I noticed that like with your concealer, the thickness of the concealer, sorry, the dog's neck is more. The thickness of the concealer shapes out and cleans up, cleans up your eyebrow way better than a foundation can. So I always ensure that I go in with a found, uh, concealer then foundation for around, for underneath my eyebrows. And we're done. I'm just joking, imagine. And the guys, I always say this on every single makeup tutorial. Bring the foundation down. So your face can look seamless, and so your makeup can look seamless as well. Okay, you don't want your face to be flawless, and then you can tell the difference as soon as you look at the person in the back. Okay, so we're basically almost done. Like, We're not going to go in with any eyeshadow, and if you guys want to, the most you can do is just go in with a brown. The most you can do is just find a brown in any palette that you have, and put it in your crease. Now the brown is just defining your crease bone and it's gonna look like you put a lot of effort into your makeup, which you didn't, okay? I only do like two swipe throughs of it on per side and that's it. Okay, so something simple like that. This is like the most eyeshadow, honestly I'll opt out for eyeshadow, but if you want to define, just go in with the brown. A brown will make wonders, but usually I don't. And then I'll just go in with my eyelashes. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going in with one of my AliExpress lashes. Again, I have a full tutorial on my channel. I never can tell which side is what. Yeah. I honestly like like basically all of them that I received. Okay, whenever I know that I'm doing a simple, basic makeup look, I always make my eyelashes the focal point in my look. When I go to interviews, I always have like glam lashes on because they draw in your very basic, simple makeup look because you don't have a lot going on on your face, right? So I feel like the eyelashes just like, wow. Okay, so we're going to skip a step. So usually when in my routine, I always do cream contour and highlight and then I go in with my powders, but again, it's 10 minutes, so we're gonna go straight in with powders. So I'm using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder to just set underneath my eyes. You guys are gonna have to skip steps. I still do like the mandatory ones. Okay, I'm just setting where I usually set on my face. T-zone underneath my eyes. And then whatever is left on my brush, I just bring it down, okay? And I do it very light. So next, going in with my powder for my contour areas okay and I'm just gonna add more dimension back into my face with my darker powders and then I bring the rest onto my neck okay then I always go in with a smaller brush to define my nose so that's that for a face for powder giving back dimension, everything like that. So what I go in with now is I spray my face just to set everything in. And while that's setting in, I always go in with my highlight. Again, this is another addition you can add if you just wanna look like you put a lot of work into your makeup. Always pop it in my inner tear duct. It looks like I put so much effort into my appearance. And then I don't do a highlight anywhere else on my face, to be honest. For interviews, I'll just put the highlight right in my inner tear duct. I feel like for interviews, highlight, not so much, but I'll just pop it in my inner tear duct. Now I'm gonna go in with underneath. And then I just do something subtle for my lips, so a brown liner. Then I'm going in with this lipstick in the color Verona. And this is just going to go on the middle part. When you put it at the bottom, blend it. And this is it. Very simple and easy 10 minute makeup and hair tutorial period. Period. Just for a working interview, as you guys can see, I look a little bit more well put together. A tip again, make sure you guys can do your hair the night before to just make your process a little bit more faster. And makeup, I show you guys simple makeup and steps that you guys can do to make it seem like you put a lot of work into your makeup even though it's very simple and it looks really well just for just for a job, okay? I shared with you guys about skipping steps and just going with powders, setting spray, inner tear ducts, and then your lashes. If you're someone who likes to wear lashes, brings your whole simple makeup look together, okay? So if you did find this video useful, make sure to comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video.